Hey guys and gals, welcome back to our Metopia adventure. And the last episode that released like a, about an hour ago or something like that. Um, got a lot of shit done. Mostly, um, all the shit. It, no, not not the rock. All the shit in that like cave right here. Um, got all that done. Uh, and you got we got Nabbit to return all the shit he stole. Um, and then uh, Dark Lord Ludwig showed up to the desert town. And, like, stole a bunch of people's faces. So now it's up to Gene and the gang. Bring their faces back. And, and I ended off the last episode by saying I want to talk to Bugatti Man in this episode. So I'm hoping we get a chance to talk to the top G. And he can give me some l helpful life advice by saying to my face what covers my Bugatti. And I will respond with I don't have a Bugatti. And they'll probably yell at me and tell me to do some push-ups. But that doesn't matter. Um, so I think I'm going to start off by going here, because I do want to talk to Bugatti Man in this episode. That's a priority now. I want a dog. Joe, that's, that's just random, Joe. Faces have been swiped here, too. What could the Dark Lord want all these faces, anyway? Well, we're never going to find out. Unless we follow him after the Dark Lord. Yeah, woo! Hang on. My shoes are untied. You're wearing shoes, Junior? I can't see you because of your rope. Probably good you're wearing shoes because hot sand fucking sucks. I'm not a fan of sand anyway. Like I, I personally, I hate sand. Like, um, I'd rather go to a lake than a beach because I just, I hate sand so much. Like, you're just trying to enjoy yourself, and you're having a good time at the beach, but when you get home, and you, you know, like you change, or before you get home, and you, it's whenever you change, you've got fucking sand everywhere. It's like, it's all over your clothes, it's in your bag, it's in your fucking swim shorts. It's just a pain in the ass. I don't like it. I, I, I like, I, I like, I love the look of the beach, I love the water, I, I love swimming, but I hate sand. So, uh, yeah, wear, wear your shoes. Uh, don't walk on hot sand. Charge! <laughs> what do you mean fucking talking about? just pulls out a handgun and starts firing it at the sand. <laughs> Scaredy scorpions. But don't worry, I gave Dr. Bones a ketchup bottle. He's gonna fuck everybody up. Uh, I'm gonna go... Not me, sorry. Fuck. Junior is gonna go with lightning. Just a huge, dish out a huge ton of damage. Mario's going with jump slash, and that's how it's done. Oh, he did like nothing, fucking Mario. Boom! Doctor Bones is fucking just killing the scorpions. You have my thanks. I love the way he said that. Like, I feel like that is so true to his character. It, it, he would say that, or either would say fucking thanks, dude. One and two. Damn! Team's fucking OP. Joe gained a level. Yes! He learned resurrection! Let's fucking go! Yeah! I thought that was much later on, but I'm happy. I'm happy it's pretty early on. Oh, God. Joe's getting blisters. I feel bad for him. I currently have an ingrown nail, and I hate it. Like, I've had it for, like, a week. It's on my, it's on my big toe. And, um, I've mentioned my, my job before. Um, I, I work at a bulk board. But I'm not just a cashier. I also do stock. And that, that it can be a little bit painful doing stock a little bit with uh, an ingrown nail. White's man is sleeping. So, I'm just saying, ingrown nails and blisters fucking suck. Aw. It, that wasn't my fan. I was gonna say that's wholesome and cute. That was a cactus. Well, look at the right side. Junior didn't sit on it this time. There's white fan. White fan. Poor white fan. He misses the Ouija so much. The Ouija loved white fan with all his heart, and he's gone. I miss. I miss the Ouija. I miss the OG team. I mean, I love this team too, especially because this team's got Doctor Bones. I just started this let's play this let's play um episode okay i'm gonna keep playing I'm not gonna wrap it up with four minutes in and uh junior wants to hang out with mario 
So I'll just I'll throw them here and they can chat and they can do whatever. Ah, oh, Junior got Mario fucking gifts probably for Christmas. Because they, when, when this video uploads, it's the 23rd. So Merry Christmas, everybody. I'll say a more formal Merry Christmas at the end of this episode. But in the meantime, let's see what Junior got Mario. Surprise! This is for you, my friend. Thanks. A balloon. Uh, this is great. Thanks. Is it Mario's birthday? It's not. Mario's birthday is in March, isn't it? I don't know. Well, Mario liked it, so that, that's cool, I guess. Friendship level four, nice. All right, uh, I am going to put... Uh, I didn't mean to pick up Joe. Um, put Mario back with the white van. Um, and uh, Junior with Joe. Anybody want anything? Dr. Bones, that is hideous. Uh, I'll give Joe the lollipop staff. Uh, even though I, I said in the last episode that I like Joe having, like, ridiculous stuff, uh, I'm going to give him the... He, have him keep the cool staff he has, because that, that staff's fucking sweet. Sure, I, I it's cheap. Uh, you're not wearing it, but it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, you look much cooler in what you're wearing now, Dr. Bones. Uh, Junior, sure, you're not wearing that either, because, um, just no. No, uh, you're honoring your mother by wearing that, Junior. You don't need to wear a fucking ridiculous clown outfit. Uh, Arcade, can can I gamble? Ah, uh, I'm not taking those odds. Okay, we're going out. Hopefully we can see Bugatti Man. Bugatti Man? Yeah! Bugatti Man! This is the first time we're going to see him. Originally, I had planned that when I first met up with Andrew Tate, I was going to play the Andrew Tate theme song, you know? The one that goes like... Da -da 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 uh, but I'm not going to do that um, for time reasons that I don't want to pause the video to set it up. Um, so let's just go talk to the top G. Just a minute there. He just fucking slams a private jet in the sand and just steps out. Who has never thirst for fun and games and truth? Only me, your friendly neighborhood quizmaster, the top G. Let's find out how much you know, and what we'll colors your Bugatti. Oh my god, he said it! Should I include Andrew Tate in the thumbnail? I feel like people would, if I did that, people wouldn't understand it's a joke. And they would actually get, like, very upset. Like, how fucking dare you? He's just like, it's, it's a joke. Want to play? Yeah, I'll play. I, w I really want to put him in the thumbnail. It's like in episode 3 of Metopia, when I was designing the thumbnail, I loved so much when I put... Because I, I put a white van in it to represent the white van the horse. And I loved that. And I would love to put Andrew Tate in this thumbnail, but it would not go well. Even though it's just a joke. Okay, general knowledge. I have three questions for you. Let's begin. If you fail, you gotta do some push-ups. Uh, what is the king of Greenhorn always holding? Meat. Because he's fat. Well done. He needs to do some push-ups. Uh, this... N oh, it's question number 14. No, fuck. I'm not a fucking idiot. This is Andrew Tate's just testing us to see if we're fucking stupid or not. Question three, uh, which job lets you use jump slash? That's warrior. Pirate is not even a class in this game. It would be an interesting one. You did great! Yay! Does this mean I'm a top G now? Because I'm, I'm not subscribing to Hustlers University. I got bananas because we got, you know, top G's stay healthy. Gotta do some push-ups. Bye, Top G. Bye, bye, Bugatti man. That was, that was a beautiful moment. We, we I met the Top G. I, I met Bugatti man. My well, Junior did, not me. Oh, that was that was fun. That, that was just yeah. 
Merry Christmas, it's Bugatti, man. But enough about that, let's fuck up some cactuses. Joe fucking killed in one hit, nice. Uh... Yeah, lightning. I'm gonna see if I can kill them both. Oh, I did kill one. Not me, fuck, I'm doing it again. Junior, not me, Junior. Mario, Mario did kill, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't know why you're worried, Junior. We fucking killed. Okay. Treasure chest, what's in it? Money, let's go! Heyo! Heyo what? It's getting dark. Last time... The, the gang, the first gang, uh, Team 1, went camping. It didn't go so well, because Junior... I mean, Rosalie and I got so pissed off because Junior told a scary story. It didn't go well. Hopefully this one goes better. We should do some stargazing. Aw, oh, this is nice. I like this. Wow, the stars are so pretty. Look, it's a shooting star! Make a wish. On the, just What will you ask? Money, let's go! Do I get money? I hope our wishes come true. Ho! Oh! Is it money? What could this be? Is it money? The stars leave us a present. It's money! Yeah! I wish it was like that in real life. Um, I think it was this week. Um, I, I was going for a late night walk. And I actually saw a shooting star. This was like the first time in like years I'd seen a shooting star. And I thought it was so cool. I didn't make a wish though, because it didn't occur to me. I'm just like, oh shit, that's cool. Um, but if I could actually make a wish and it would come true like right there and then, that would be fucking sweet. Let's get going, everyone. Joe looks so tired still. Bit out of breath. Guess I stay hydrated, Dr. Bones. I'm going to take a sip out of my, my drink. Stay hydrated. That was good. Dr. Bones committed a murder by hacking. What would you call that? hack aside? That uh, it was supposed to be funny. I, I, had it, I had it in my head. It, it was supposed to be like a joke between like, you know, hacking and homicide. You know, hack aside. It wasn't good. It, it, it was funnier in my head. <laughs> Mario doing a jump slash. Oh, God. I, I really gotta upgrade Dr. Bones' defense. Things aren't going well for him. Uh, I think it was C that hit Dr. Bones. I'm gonna I'm gonna get vengeance from my boy. Oh, Joe's healing Dr. Bones. Thanks, dude. How about that, bitch? Dr. Bones is always helping Mario out by lighting his sword on fire. That's, that's, really, that's what friendship is about. You know when you have a really good friend when they're offering to light your sword on fire for you? Oh my god! My boy! You murdered my boy! In one hit, you fucking douchebag! No! I will chuck my controller at the TV in anger! You do not kill my boy! No! I got a letter! I mean, the gang got a letter. It's from Guy Fury. I'm taking it easy today, just like yesterday. But if you can't afford to, but you can't afford to slack off. And remember, you gotta eat here. Guy Fury. Got some outing tickets. Yeah, I, I, any of those from the horse, like horse outing tickets, because I'd actually like to use one of those. I want to get the team's friendship with the horse really well. I don't think I got any. Ah, uh, damn. Anyone want anything? Dr. Bones wanted a, a tubo, a, like a spiral flask. That looks funky. But yeah, sure. Looks like you can make some, some good old drugs with that. And that's what uh, science is all about. Drugs. I mean, just look at Walter White. He was a scientist. A chemist. And he was all about drugs. Oh, it's like a basket. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Joe's wearing a basket. Nice. 
I actually, I really like Joe's old outfit. I don't know if it's going to bug me that he, uh, he's wearing a basket now. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I was thinking, I, I, oh shit, I, okay, so, um, the Colonel from KFC, he's over here. I was thinking to myself, I probably should do, um, the others, like the ones, the characters that aren't in the pyramid first, so I don't forget. Because I don't want to go into the next episode and just be like, because I, I filmed last episode and this episode back to back. And I don't want to film the next episodes, um, and just be like, okay, shit. Um, <laughs> where did I leave off? So I think I, I am going to go in here to get, uh, I can't remember whose face it was. Um, I'll get that person's face and I'll get the colonel's face. Uh, and then I'll go into the pyramid. This way I don't forget. Let's go! As Junior says every time. Mario, we just left the inn, dude. I had the best dream last night. Oh yeah? What was it about? Hookers? Cocaine? <laughs> A mountain of money rained down on me. That That's pretty sweet too, actually. It totally buried me. I couldn't even breathe. It was a nightmare. Um, that dream started off really awesome, but it got depressing. Is it really the best dream, Junior? Yes. I, 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 you know, I, that is a scary thought. And I, and I, you know, I think it happens to the best of us where we just have those thoughts sometimes. Like, if I were to die, how would I want to die? And I think I, I would like to die that way. I would like to die buried in money. Um, I don't know about suffocation, actually, because that sounds like a horrible way to die. But if it was money, I could at least die rich. And I would I would choose that. Money is... Money, yeah. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die buried in $100 bills that hopefully aren't fake. <laughs> okay, Mario's sick of some ass. Nice. Like, I don't know why, but after that talk about, like, dying because of money, things just, it, it went silent. I didn't mean for it to be that way. Like, I guess you, no matter, even if it's a comedic way, death just, like, it just, like, shuts everybody up and it just gets you quiet. And I'm sorry for that. <laughs> death is scary, but we're, we're going to think of life, you know? Like, um, let's think of how life is made. Oh, no, that's not that way. Well, that's a way to change the subject, am I right? Junior level up. Mario level up. Oh, snap out of it. Nice. Do oh, Dr. Bones, I didn't realize he leveled up. Unstable Formia. This is a cool one, too. I think Unstable Formia, it hits multiple targets at once, so that's another good mood to have. So Junior and Dr. Bones hit multiple targets, which is nice. I feel like there's something buried here. And then, then, like, the first episode of Area 2, Mario come across this pro problem, but I gave up because I'm like, fuck it. Oh, shit, he actually found something. $100 bill, nice. I wish that was the case. The only time I found money on the ground was, um, I was, like, probably, like, fucking seven? Maybe younger, maybe older. Um, but I had just left the movie theaters with my dad, and right, like, after all the steps and everything, there was a $10 bill. That was the first and only time I found money on the ground. And I'm not counting, like, you find the occasional, like, dime or nickel on the ground. Because, honestly, fuck that. Nobody gives a shit. If I see a dime or a nickel on the ground, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not that desperate. But a $10 bill, fuck yeah. Like, people at work, like, they'll just be like, keep the change. They'll be, like, all slick. Just be like, you can keep the change. And I'll just be sitting there and just being like, ma'am, this is five cents. <laughs> I, don't e I don't even keep the change when people tell me to do that. I just throw it in the till and just be like, oh, the business can have it. I don't give a shit. Who's going to help Joe? Um, How about Junior? Because he didn't do it last time I asked. It was Mario. Junior was busy or something. And he actually came to help out Joe, so that was nice. Yeah, friendship boost, hopefully, right? Le le level up? Uh, not quite yet. Found our way to the end. Let's fucking go. 
Rescue 250 people. Yeah, that's cool. Yay, exciting. Mm-hmm. You say the same stuff all the time. Every time. Oh, Mario and White Van. Nice. Now I can put Joe with White Van. Hopefully, uh, we'll get acquainted. Because I want everybody to have that mounted attack option. Because it's just very helpful in combat when you attack with White Van. Because it deals a lot of damage. Actually, I just want to check. Uh, Dr. Bones, level... Th eh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, fuck it, I'll leave it. Uh, money. Joe wants a new outfit. I'll give it to you. You're gonna stay in your basket outfit, because... Um... Just no. No. That looks like a, like a fucking, like a baby. Like, you know, a baby outfit. A romper? A baby romper, you know? I guess Junior wants one too. You know, I don't know. Just the polka dot, the polka dot design reminds me of like a, a clothing that babies wear. Um, I don't know. Maybe because I wore that as a child. And Junior got scammed, so shit. Uh, I do have a good chunk of food, so everybody eat up. I feel bad for everybody but Junior. Junior got like fucking burnt toast and everyone else got scorpions. That's, oh god. I've said this once, so I'll say it again. I don't give a shit if bugs have good protein in them. I will never resort to eating a bug. Never. Fuck that. Another reason is because I'm terrified of bugs. I have two, two of my worst fears. I'll just say it in the channel right now. The two things I'm scared of most are heights and spiders. Well, not, not just spiders, bugs. Like, actually, there are only a few bugs that I don't mind. Uh, uh, um, I, I, uh, I was gonna read this, but I've already missed so much stuff, so if you wanna read it, ignore me and read it yourself, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, there are a few bugs that don't bug me. Like, I don't mind ladybugs, I don't mind butterflies, fuck everything else, basically. So, uh, yeah, I just exposed my two biggest fears on the channel, which are heights and bugs. I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> but oh yeah, Dr. Bones used in Sable Formula. Was that the first time he did it? I think it was. I feel bad that I missed out on that the talk between Mario and Dr. Bones. It could have been like a fucking like a like a like the, the best conversation of all time, and I just fucking missed out on it. See that is why I want everyone to have a, like a friendship level with White Fan, because I want that attack option for everybody. I don't I don't know if everybody on team one was Got, got that friendship level with White Van. I know for a fact Luigi did. Um, Junior Junior has it. I don't know about Rosalina Homer. I think Homer might, but I'm not the surest about Rosalina. Bonus XP. Uh, I gave last time I gave it to Dr. Bones. I'll give it to Mario. Can we please slow down a bit? No, I gotta keep running. Gotta get out of the cave. Feeling restless, White Van? Just car noises. But you feel better if you did some exercise. Or if you ate more greens and stuff. Huh? It's a car. Or I guess it's a van. Maybe I should listen to my own advice. Just like engine noises and just... Like, I ever... No, no. Not engine noises. Imagine each time white van talks. It's, it's like oh, that's the sound of a car crash. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Is that Toadette? I think it's Toadette. Yeah. Toadette has been attached to a painting. I was gonna say a joke, but I, I forgot. It was gonna be funny. Um. Ah, fuck, it was gonna be good too, and I forgot. Ah, fuck it. It's gonna bother me for the rest of the day that I, I forgot that joke. And the gang's fighting a painting. I like how the painting's just called Toadette. Dr. Bones eating candy. Is that candy or meth? It's one of the two. Ah, best friends. You can tell they're best friends because Dr. Bones is lighting Mario's weapon on fire. Plus, Dr. Bones, his actual best friend isn't here. Like, Blue's not on the team yet. So, uh, yeah. Dr. Bones doing some hacking. Let's go! Wait a second. Uh, Junior, I'm gonna have you use fire. 
Oh shit, I forget, Junior has a fucking healing ability now. I get, technically it's because you put the character to sleep. I should use that as a last resort. Easy now. Okay, Joe's prep is done. And he's healing himself. I feel like you could have did something more productive. That doesn't matter. Oh, nice! Dr. Bones is fucking driving White Van right into the fucking painting. Junior, I'm gonna have you use fire again. When does the fucking mage learn explosion? Because that's a really cool attack, too. Oh, fuck. I don't want Junior to die. Oh, Joe's healing Junior. Thanks, bud. Oh, nice friendship level boost. Let's fucking go! Level six. Nice. Lend a hand. Okay, uh, fire again. Just gonna keep using that. Oh, Joe's helping. Nice. 14 to 17. I, I was counting, but I zoned out, so shit. That makes me sound stupid. I am not the most intelligent, but I'm not the most stupid. I, I, I am like everybody else. Well, mostly everybody. There are some real idiots out there. But I'm like mostly everybody else out there. Which is, everybody else is like a mixture between stupid and smart. You have some geniuses out there. I'm not one of them. I healed most of the team to my uh, my best ability. And use fire again. We almost beat Toadette. The painting Toadette. Fuck the Mona Lisa. It, it doesn't have shit on Toadette. Junior's helping out Dr. Bones. It's nice. How much does fucking what's that ability cost? The... Um, I don't know, Doc, Dr. Bones is using a lot of magic points. That That's my point. We gotta fucking kill this painting. It, it's doing a surprising amount of damage to the team. Nice! Finish it off by Junior fucking ramming it with a white fan. Right? That's how it's gonna end? Yeah. It's beautiful. That was really the work of art. Beating the painting. I'm saved! Yeah. We saved you with style by, by ramming your painting with a white van. Joe's level 8 now, eh? Bonus XP. Um, who need, oh, I'm just going to give it to Dr. Bones. I don't play favorites. <laughs> okay, I wonder if I can get the other one done today. Uh, the Colonel. If I can save the Colonel. Poor Junior, sleeping alone. I gotta get everybody acquainted with White Van, though. I'm not done yet, game. I don't, does it bother anyone else when people just, like, the game just tells you to fucking stop playing? It's like, fuck you. <laughs> hey, listen to this. What? I heard something about Dr. Bones recently. What, what did you hear about my boy? Well, what is it? Well, is that true? It seems so. You never tell just by looking. How sad. I was gonna make a joke saying that he has some kind of skin disease, but I can't think of one. The reason that was gonna be funny, because he's a skeleton. Ah, fuck. It was gonna be... I, I, I don't know. I, I thought that was gonna be funny, but I fucking I can't think of anything. Uh, Junior, four, six, four, three... You know, with Dr. Bones. Uh, nothing for the horse. Joe wants another new outfit. That one's got like a button on the top. I like that one. I don't know. I like the color of it. What, what color button do I give him? I don't know. I kind of like red. But orange is kind of cool too. What do you think? I'll go with orange. Fuck it. I might regret that and change it to red, but we'll see. Uh, Mario wants the, like, the fucking suit armor. Do Junior didn't even get a chance to get that when he was a warrior. It's sad. I'm getting emotional to the arcade. I'm not taking those chances. I mean, it's like a 25% chance, but eh, fuck it. 
I, I need to get, feed the gang. Last time, most of them got fucking scorpions. So yeah, I gotta give them uh, good food, you know. Set off. Onward, the gang goes. Okay, I am done in the cave. Probably for the rest of this Let's Play. I know there's a few, like, probably one or two levels I didn't do, but fuck it. This isn't a 100% thing. This game is a bitch to 100%. I'm 100%er, but I've never done it. I've never 100%ed this game because it's a bitch. I went through my 3DS version, and I have beaten each and every level, which drains you, mind you. It drained the shit out of me, and it killed the game for me for a while because going in the same level and doing it six times to do every route is a bitch. But I still did 100% it because I didn't get... I didn't get every piece of, like, weapon and shit. And it's just like, ah, oh, fuck. You know, I already put so much time in this. It's like, ah, oh, fuck. On my second playthrough, I decided just fuck it. I'm not going to 100% it. I'm not even going to go in and do each level all the way. So, I think that's... If you're 100%er, don't even bother with this game. Just, just play it. You know, just like I am right now. Because it, it's much more fun doing it this way. I'm back! I can feel my face again. I'm indebted to you. Truly am. Give me money then. Give me money. Here's a little token of my appreciation. I wanted money. Oh, that's where the multiple gems came in. Oh, and you know, take this too. You're getting me back. It's money! Yeah! But in the last episode, I got the one gem for the cave. And I mentioned that it's like sometime in, in, the, in the game, you need multiple gems. And it, it, apparently it's for the pyramid or something. Uh, but I'm gonna go up here and save the colonel, so I don't forget about him. Let's go! On your marks, good set, we're already going! Ah, damn it. I wonder what it feels like to have your face stolen. It kind of tickles, but it's hard to breathe. How do you know? When your head goes all fuzzy. How do you know? You've never had your face stolen, Joe. It's kind of a warm, fluffy feeling. How do you know? Wow. Yeah, how do you know? Oh, I don't know. I was just using my... All right. Ah, oh, God. That was an interesting conversation. Can't wait for... Everybody's hungry. We're doing this for the Colonel. The King of Chicken. A vegan's worst nightmare. And the fucking cactus is dead. Dr. Bones is doing some fucking chemistry shit. Yeah. Yeah, science, bitch. And, uh, Junior, just use fire. Dr. Bones, my boy, he's racing for impact. Nice. He didn't get hit. Yes. Are these enemies just really weak? Or are... My characters actually have good defense and shit. Sorry. Yeah! Nobody's asked for a catchphrase. I've only happened that I only had had that happen once in this let's play, which is Rosalina asked for it. Like the one character that I, I did doesn't have something like really like funny and memorable that she said. Um, everyone else has something that they could use as a catchphrase. But no one else has asked. And it bugs me. And I mean, I could go in and manually set it. But that's just not as fun. Those are new clothes, right? It looks so good on you, dude. Oh, you got to be blushing. Everybody fucking likes Joe's clothes. Like, Joe must be, like, fucking wearing Gucci shit or whatever. But then again, Joe's parents are rich. So he probably could be wearing Gucci clothes. <laughs> I don't know what the desire is in, like, so fucking fancy clothes. Like, you can get good clothes that are affordable and cheap. Um, like me, I, I'm just, I wear normal shit, like, all the time. Like, I, I wear jeans and a t-shirt every day. And I, I, I like the way I dress. Uh, it doesn't cost me much. Like, jeans, I don't know, 30 to $40 for a pair of jeans. I typically get mine hemmed. Um, a t-shirt, it, it can depend, um... So I, sometimes I have paid a lot of money for a t-shirt. I have paid up to like $80 for one. But that's because I ordered it online and like shipping and that, you know? And like, you know, like the, um, 
conversion between, you know, different, um, different places, money, and shipping and that. Um, but most t-shirts you can get, I, between, like, what, 20, 20 to 50 dollars. I still say getting a fifty dollar t shirt is still expensive, but if I really like the design, I'll do it. Um, but I don't know why people just like go out of um, their way to get fucking ridiculously expensive clothes. I guess it's just status, you know, or or maybe they're doing it for the views. I would way rather so watch somebody like fucking buy a bunch of Gucci clothes and burn them than to watch like a like just I don't know someone buying them or whatever. It would just be more entertaining, you know? And, uh, pathway. I don't know. Go down. I'm on top of the world! Mario's like, how much? Um, I don't know how much that is in centimeters or inches or millimeters or... The thing is, I suck at measurement. And it's not my fault. I live in Canada, right? Where we have to do learn metric and imperial measuring systems... And I'll take a pause because uh, Junior Dr. Bones got level 4 friendship. And uh, I believe Mar was it? no Joe and White Fan friendship level 2, so that's cool. But I'm in Canada. And we have to learn both metric and imperial measurement systems to, uh, because like most of the world uses different systems or whatever. I don't fuck with it. The thing is, it's so confusing to me because the school system taught them to me when I was, when I was in grade 3 at the same time in the same unit. And I was in grade three. I was young, okay. And you taught them to me in the same unit, so I'm confused. Like, I, yeah. they shouldn't have done it in the same unit at the same time. It fucked with me. And I, I do know that twelve inches is a foot. That's like it. I use a tape measure because I'm stupid, and I blame the school system. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's enough. Stop ranting about that. It's buy some clothes for the gang. Toy lab gear. Um, nah. Doctor Bones looks super cool in the outfit he has now. Um, Junior. Oh yeah, you got scam. That's why you don't have that. Polka dot shit. Yay! It's so swag. You're gonna continue honoring your mother by wearing that, Junior. Uh, Joe wants a, a golden sun staff, or is it just golden staff? It's one of the two. It's just golden staff. That actually looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can have that. You can wear it. Look, you can. It looks cool. Um, check on team. Okay, let me see. Joe. Uh, no, I'm just gonna have you hang out with Mario, because Junior's hanging out with Doctor Bones. Um, in terms of gambling, no, no, those are horrible odds. Uh, hopefully I can save the Colonel now. Onward to save the Colonel of the Chicken. Good old Chucky Fried Chicken. I I and I'll, I prefer Popeyes. In all seriousness, Popeyes chicken's better. KFC they when they once they changed their gravy a recipe it was shit. So, uh, Mar what was that? Mario looks like he's fucking just freaking out. He's like, what the fuck was that? I just heard something. Yeah, me too. Kind of like a low growling sound. Maybe it's a monster. You should be careful. Um, actually, I forgot to eat breakfast. Oh, again? Oh, Junior, Junior, Junior. Junior, don't you know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? And you're skipping out on it. Gotta eat your breakfast and shit. Oh. Oh, no. It's that plant again. If you didn't watch that one episode of Metopia, I think it was... Was it episode 5? But anyway, a lot of those plants showed up, and they ate the entire team. Except Luigi. He was the only one that didn't get mentally scarred by being ate by a plant. So I'm hoping that everybody on this team doesn't have to go through that same fate. Except for Junior, because he's already been through that fate. He's already been mentally scarred. And I feel bad for my boy. But luckily enough, plant died super quick. Didn't have nobody had to go through the pain of being eaten by a plant. Oh, Doctor Bones uh, joined. I mean, bleh, not joined. Warned Joe. 
So, thank, thank you, my boy. Level four, concern, nice. Okay, he's done prep. He's gonna beat him with a fucking staff. That looks like it would hurt too, because it's like fucking gold, right? And, um. Is gold heavier than silver? I don't know. Butterfly honey, that sounds disgusting. Oh, no. Not touching that with a fucking 10 foot pole. Cactus ball. Oh, Dr. Bones is helping out Joe. That's nice. He normally helps out Mario. Ah, oh, Junior's fucking driving into cactuses with the white fan. That might not be the best thing to do. You might fuck up the tires and the exhaust and that. It, it, a lot of things could go wrong. A lot. Dr. Bones took out one of those. Nice. Mario doing a jump slash. And that's how it's done, you damn right, Mario. Oh! Everybody's warning Joe. That's fucking nice. He hasn't gotten hit once, I think, in this fight. See, this is why friendship levels are key. They're very important. I think we won. Yeah, we fucking demolished that round, Joe. Everybody had your back. Let's enjoy our little victories. Yeah, like Junior said, like Joe fucking avoiding like every tack. Hey, Mario. I have a candy. Mario ate an, AP, an MP candy. Thanks. That was, that was random, but that was nice. That was nice and wholesome. Hopefully that candy wasn't meth or had a razor in it. Oh, is it the Colonel? It's the Colonel. The Colonel of Chicken. Oh, come on! I just wanted to make Kentucky Fried Chicken when Wendy's was fucking bitching at that. Oh, God, KFC Cobra. I'm gonna not take that item from the menu. <laughs> Avoid the KFC Cobra item on the menu. You don't want to touch that. Okay, uh... This is like the... Like the third? No, it's the second real boss, I guess you could say. Because there was the Minotaur in the last episode. And, uh, we did fuck up the Toadette painting, so... This is the second real boss. And holy shit! The Colonel's fucking hitting hard! God! I'm worried about Joe. Oh, okay. Joe's gotta stay alive because he's the healer, but thankfully Joe's friendship with Mario went up. Um, so J Joe's been fully healed. But I need to be worried about my boy Dr. Bones, because, um, he did take a big hit. Mario's dishing out damage, which is good, because Mario is the heavy hitter on the team. And I'm relying on Joe to heal um, Dr. Bones. I really hope he does. Because I need... Yeah, okay, good. Because I need my boy alive. I need Dr. Bones alive. You have my thanks. Dr. Bones doing a fucking hack. Holy shit! 34 damage. Nice. Hopefully Mario jumps out of the way. Oh, he did. Nice. Called for help. Oh, fuck. We need White Van to help here. At least Mario went for the boss. Oh, I don't have Snap out of it. If a status effects get thrown. Mario has that, but it's random. I can't control Mario. So hopefully if someone gets like a status effect or whatever, hopefully Mario snaps out, snaps it, the person out of it for them. I'm going to use Lightning because I want that Blue Cobra dead. But I, I do want to attack the purple one at the same time. Dr. Bones bracing for impact. Good. I don't want my boy hit hard. I don't want my boy hit at all, but it can't be fucking perfect. And Dr. Bones got all his HP back because Mario and Dr. Bones' friendship level went up, which is nice. Today, everybody's friendship is just going up. This is fucking awesome. Fucking yeah. Junior took a big hit there, which is upsetting. What is this thing's HP at? Fuck, Mario took a big hit there, but uh, Joe's got Mario's back. Who ate all my candies? Uh, I think you did, Dr. Bones. Mario's got your back, though, giving you some candy. Okay, uh, I want to see what the thing's HP's at. Uh, if I use lightning, I can kill that blue one. Um... The Colonel 
Still has a decent amount of H HP. Joe's helping out, which is nice too, because lightning is not the strongest attack, but it does hit multiple targets, which is what I wanted. I'm hoping Mario here finishes it. Joe took a big hit there, but Joe will heal himself. Mario assumed jump slash, which is nice, because that was a big, heavy hit in target. We're doing really well. Um, like, uh, like the last, in last episode when we fought the Minotaur, thing, like, even though the fight we won, like, the time we won the fight, it was still, um, it was still close, because, like, Minotaur hit hard and it could, like, kill. But, uh, things are going pretty well here. I mean, yes, Junior did almost die, but, um, Joe healed him. Joe healed him. And I think, uh, we're gonna kill the Colonel's Cobra. Yeah, he's dead. We killed the Colonel the same way Toadette died, with fucking Ram and White Van. Whoa, thank you. You all have free chicken for life. Nobody's excited, because KFC is mediocre. Bonus XP, who's getting this? I don't play favorites. We've been over this, I don't play favorites. Oh god, fried Cobra, that's real! I was making a joke, but that's an actual item in the game, I fucking forgot! Oh! You! I'm eating 28 MP candies, I don't really give two shits. Uh huh, cool. Yeah. Okay, um, anybody want anything? Oh, Joe wants, who's Joe want to hang out with? Man okay, wants to hang out with Dr. Bones. That is the, like, the most unlikely thing ever is, like, Joe and Dr. Bones hanging out. I want to see that happen, but it's just so uncommon. scrub a dub dub Joe is cleaning. Yeah, I can, I can see. I believe in you, Joe. Go! Dr. Bowens is cherry. I feel like that would happen. That would be like a sort of conversation. Joe would be cleaning and like maybe expect like Dr. Bones to help out, but Dr. Bones would be like, nah, you got this. Uh, but anyway, let's see, Dr. Bones, Joe, um, hmm, Junior. I, I'm still thinking, what's the best way to do this? Uh, fuck, I don't know. Mario. I'm gonna put Dr. Bones with Mario and I guess Joe with Junior. Just back to that, I guess. Gold. Everybody wants something except for Junior. Oh, it's the penguin! It reminds me of, like Super Mario 64 penguin. It doesn't look good on Joe. I can tell that now, but um Oh, I like the reference. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the button one, you know? Nice old button. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Bones wants a fucking baby bottle. Beats the shit out of the enemy until they're fucking bloody, but all you're using is a fucking baby bottle. <laughs> yeah, I I'm gonna keep Dr. Bones with the cool spiral flask. And Mario wants a bee sword. Mario hasn't asked for a new sword in a while. Um, that's kind of a lame one. Uh, I'll equip this, the stats, because Mario is the heavy hitter on the team. I do want him with a nice item, but uh, I don't want him with a ridiculous looking fucking bee sword. Uh, oh, shit, I already fucking bought the baby bottle. I should have gambled before that. Those were good odds. Those were good odds. But now we're going to go see the colonel and give him his face back so we can get bitched at by his wife, wife Wendy's. Okay, so it's good. I got all of the outside faces saved so I can start off the next episode by going into the pyramid without worrying about, like, okay, shit, where were the fucking other faces? The Shy Gal, uh, Lily, Snorlax, um, they're in, in Nabbit. Their faces are in the pyramid. I, this, this, this world's actually going a lot faster than World 1 because World 1 took seven episodes and, like, the pyramid, once you do the pyramid, that's pretty much it for World 2. Um, and this is only episode 3 of World 2. It's going a lot faster than episode 1. So, like, doing this, like, two episode a week thing is definitely going to help. It's definitely going to speed the process up. Get a lot more done. Did you even listen to a word I said? He just got his face back. Lay off, you bitch. Oh, give me... Yeah, give the man a break. He just got his fucking face back. Are you still giving me flack? My chicken's better than your chicken. Yeah. 
when he just fucking slaps you and be like, we have the meats. Oh, we got the second jewel. Uh, I'm curious. Did I actually need to get do those faces first? Um, I'm wondering if to enter the pyramid. No, no, I don't. I didn't need um, those jewels to enter the pyramid. But I'm guessing I needed them to. Um, or maybe I do. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna end things off here because it's like 50 minutes already. Uh, so yeah, this is um, this week's Metopia episodes. There was the one that we just uploaded, and this one. Uh, but because today, when this video is being uploaded, it is the 23rd. So I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I'll be working until 5, so that fucking sucks. But I have Christmas off because we're not open on Christmas, so that's good. Um, but anyway, um, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Enjoy the time with your family. Um, eating, eating gift, I mean, not eating gifts. Ugh, eating food, opening gifts, the quality time with the family. Enjoy that. Um... And also, look forward to next week on Friday, where two more Metopia Let's Play episodes uh, will be released. So, um, once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, I'll see you, everybody next Friday. And remember, you're all awesome. Bye-bye.